Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I'm here with the underrated illustrator tag. This tag was created by Time for Books, and she was also the one who tagged me, so thank you so much. And this tag is pretty simple, and you just pick an illustrator that you really love, that you think is underappreciated, and you share some information about them and their work. And I think this is such a cool tag because illustrators really don't get as much attention, I think, as authors do um, in kind of the book reviewing or like book world in general. And there are definitely some incredibly talented people out there. So today I'm going to be talking about Rebecca Gay. So I had to look some information up about her and it turns out that she's actually most well known for things that I haven't experienced in her art. So she's done a lot of artwork for Magic the Gathering. She's also done a lot of work with DC Comics, so she's obviously very well respected in the illustrating field. She's also worked on some of Neil Gaiman's Sandman um, universe comics. So those are things that she's kind of most well known for, but the things that I know her from are a couple of I guess you could call them picture books, but they feel, they're like storybook picture books, I guess. Um, and they're ones that I always loved when I was little and that I continue to love to this day. I remember checking this book out. It must have been at least a dozen times over the years from, from my public library, which is a lot when you consider that I was always excited to find new books as well. So the first book I'm going to show you is Goddesses, A World of Myth and Magic, and she of course did the illustrations for this, and the author was Berlaine Mutin. So here are some examples of her art. I just think the, the use of color and the expressiveness that she can give her characters while still making them very visually appealing, I think sometimes, especially with female, uh, female characters in artwork, sometimes they can be it's very pretty to look at, but you can't really tell many differences in expression or how they're feeling. And I think she balances the aesthetic appeal of the subjects of her artwork beautifully with their personality and with the emotions that you can feel from them. I just highly recommend this book overall, if you, especially if you love mythology. Um, I think that there's a fantastic array of countries and goddesses represented, and I think Rebecca Gay just did a fantastic job of doing the artwork for all of them. And then the other book I'm going to show you is The Barefoot Book of Ballet Stories by Jane Yolen and Heidi E. Y. Stemple, and of course Rebecca Gay illustrated this. And this is just one of my favorite favorite books, like favorite um, styles of artwork I have ever seen. Once again, the colors are stunning, but she also knows when to use a really muted palette. And you can see there's these glorious like two page spreads um, in addition to smaller illustrations. And I have always enjoyed, I've always enjoyed ballet stories anyway, but this book in particular, the way that she communicates the feeling of the stories is just exquisite. And you can see even in her smaller illustrations, there is such attention to detail. Um, and something else I think is so cool is how in these two books you can really see, like obviously it's the same illustrator and there are a lot of similarities in the way she draws, um, especially her figures, but she still uses a slightly different style depending on the content of the book. And I think that's, I think that's really cool. Um, I don't know enough about artwork to know if that is something that is encouraged or not, but I really like that you can definitely see the similarities in her work, but she also makes an effort to use a particular style depending on the work that she is illustrating. So I believe she also did a fundraiser, like a, a Kickstarter or something, to collect all of her artwork into one book. So I don't own that, obviously. I have not seen that, but that might be something I'll look into. I definitely want to collect more of Rebecca Gay's illustrations, um, especially if they're in kind of this mythology or like fairy tale or story format, because these are these are books that I really love reading. And it's so funny, but I actually didn't realize that she was the illustrator of both of these books until I recently um, purchased this one, The Goddesses Book, because I had been wanting to reread it and I don't think my public library has it anymore. And then I happened to see that it was the same illustrator. Anyway, let me know if you guys have read any of the books that she's illustrated or what you thought of them or if you're going to look into any of her, um, any, any of her work. As I just said at the beginning, I think she's most well known for things that I haven't actually come across before. Like, I don't play Magic the Gathering and I don't really read comics, so it's interesting to me that she's well known for those things. So let me know if you guys have come across her and maybe in that capacity. I'm going to leave a couple people that I tag in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video, and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!